Imagine creating content on TikTok and repeatedly failing to become famous, only to succeed because people wanted to make fun of you and the content you made. That's the reality of Daniel Larson, a self-proclaimed singer-songwriter, fashion model, actor, and internet celebrity who has created a cult-like following that even has an entire Wikipedia website dedicated to him. Diagnosed with autism, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder, Daniel has suffered online at the hands of internet trolls who have caused him an endless stream of problems in his life by feeding him false information that has led to breakdowns and even encounters with the law, sending him into a further spiral of depression and hate. This cycle of problems began in early 2020, when Daniel uploaded his first video titled, Good Night Everyone. Good night everyone, including my girlfriend, Sleep Dreams. And Daniel seemingly gained 20,000 followers and over half a million likes overnight with this video, showcasing his gullibleness and sparking a new wave of trolls to take advantage of him. Most notably, a user by the name of Flexburger who would convince Daniel he was the executive of a record label and managed to get himself to become Daniel's manager. In this role, Flex would expose many aspects of Daniel's life, most notably his Pinterest account, which would be filled with evidence of Daniel being a p where he would then be thrown into a sense of paranoia Noia, forcing him to take a break for a few months up until March of 2021. As shortly after returning to TikTok, Daniel would come to learn that it was indeed Flex who had doxed his Pinterest account, and during an altercation between the two, Daniel was on a TikTok live in front of 500 people. Um, for some reason, um, the, this guy has changed the text message in the entire thing to mean something different because of the accusations about me. And Flex convinced him to expose himself on camera. The spiral he would then be sent into would be one of continuous disasters, such as the time he traveled to California from Colorado in August of 2021 to meet his father, Travis Larson, who ended up just being a troll who was impersonating his dad, or the instance where when he was homeless, he was charging his phone on somebody's property, and when he was asked to leave, he called the person a slur. Out of here! Okay. Or the time where he stuck a toothbrush up his rear end and brushed his teeth with it on camera, or more recently, when he would be kicked out of a Planet Fitness for loitering in the bathroom stalls and being confronted by an employee and a gym goer. Daniel nonetheless has had his interactions with almost every single entity on the planet it seems. Namely though, the police, who he has had a very detailed past with, with 7 different encounters, totaling nearly $3,000 in fines, 12 months of probation, 48 hours of community service, and anger management classes, with incidents such as dining and dashing costing $950, 2 destructions of property cases which totaled him $1,500, and more instances that were captured on camera, the most recent of which was him getting a arrested for third degree assault in Folsom Fields, Colorado. This incident was one of the results of his all too common meltdowns, most of which are recorded on camera by either him or those around him and then posted to TikTok, all of which show the desperate situation that Daniel was in. The most concerning of all though with Daniel is his unreasonable obsession with singer-songwriter Grace Vanderwall, whom he references an uncanny amount in his videos, wherein he ranges from claiming they are dating, we are officially dating. To then describing the fantasies he's had with her, to crying hysterically over her supposed death, which he was lied to about, to sending explicit messages to trolls who were impersonating Grace, to even threatening to kill her in an extremely disturbing video in which he claims that she is behind all the bad things that are happening to him. I want her dead. I want her dead. I want Grace dead. I want. I want her. <laughs> Flashing up on screen is a list of what has been deemed as notable events in Daniel's life, which all have extensive information on their own and which would take hours to read over. And as mentioned in the description, there is a link to his wiki, which you should definitely check out if you're interested in more.